Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to make an ellipse. An ellipse is a very important shape in astronomy because it is the shape that planets follow when they orbit the sun. And this was discovered by Johannes Kepler. Previous to Kepler, people thought that the planets all orbited around the sun in circles. That was Copernicus' idea. Or, even before that, they thought that planets orbited uh, the Earth in circles also. Well, first let's think about what is a circle? Can you draw a circle? Sometimes it's hard to draw a circle, but a circle is just a simple shape. It's just all the points that are a certain distance from the center. They're all the same distance, so you can pick a center, and then if you have a string, it's easy to draw a circle. There's one center point, and you just stretch out the string and draw the circle. And if you were to measure the size of this circle, you could talk about from the center, you could talk about the radius. That'd be a good way to figure out the size of a circle. Or you can talk about the diameter, which is twice the radius. So this diameter, we call it D is twice the radius. That's d, and that's equal to 2 times the radius. Okay, so that's circles, but what about an ellipse? Well, you can draw an ellipse also, but instead of having one center, an ellipse has two centers. We call each center a focus. So the plural is foci. There's one center and one center. So these are the two foci or foci of the ellipse. And to draw the ellipse, you once again get a piece of string and stretch it out. And you can put these as far apart as you want. You'll get a different shape depending on how you position the two focal points. Stretch out the string. Put it like this, maybe. And let's see what happens. All right, so that's an ellipse. You might call it an oval, but it's a very precisely defined mathematical shape. And it's not a circle. It has some characteristics that we might mention, the two focal points. We use to draw it, I can just mark them now. Use the letter F for the focal point. And here's the other focal point. A line that connects the two foci is called the major axis, and it's like the diameter of a circle. So that's the major axis. And just like if you wanted to say, how big is that circle that you just drew? You could talk about the diameter or the radius. And uh, in astronomy, we'll try to go with the radius here. But what's the radius of this ellipse? Well, it has two diameters, a long diameter and a short diameter. But we'll just use the long diameter. That's the major axis. And from the central point, we'll take half of that major axis Here's the center point. And if this is the major axis, then the radius of this ellipse is called the semi-major axis, and it's half of the major axis. So that's called the semi-major axis. Well, that's kind of a big word, but you can just think of it as the radius of an ellipse. And instead of r, we'll shorten this to just the letter a, a for axis. So when we're talking about ellipses, we talk about how big they are in terms of the semi-major axis. Each of the planets in our solar system has a different semi-major axis. All right.